Hare Krishna. The mind is a perpetual procrastinator. It postpones our resolutions to some day, then some decade, and then some lifetime. All of us know a set of things that we can do to make our life better, to make ourselves better. And we often make such resolutions. But something within us makes us postpone it. Maybe later, maybe later. And that way, it just gets delayed on and on forever. So the idea here is that each one of us needs to know how best we can move forward in our lives. We have a mind within us which will always hold us back. And one way it holds us back is not by tightly tying us to where we are, but by sneakily uh, deterring us from moving forward. Uh, so the mind in, is very much affected, even dominated by the lower modes. And when it is in the mode of ignorance, it procrastinates. So often with respect to things which it considers enjoyable, it is hyperactive. And for those things which it considers uh, troublesome, even if they are actually beneficial, the mind is ultra-lethargic. So the Bhagavad Gita 18.28 says that Ayukta prakrita stabdha shatho naishkritiko lasaha vishadi dirgha sutricha karta tamasa uchyate that Vishadi Dirga Sutricha. Which a person who is affected by the mode of ignorance keeps lamenting. And Dirga Sutri is a small thing that which can be done in a few moments, a few minutes, they may postpone for years. So our mind in this way keeps telling us, well, I'll do this, it's good. I'm not saying no, but I'll do it someday. And then someday becomes not just uh, some months later, some years later, it will become some decades later. We all can think of some habit which we know we should have developed maybe in our maybe decades earlier, but still we are not developing, still we are struggling with it. And it can even become some lifetimes. In fact, we have postponed our spiritual evolution for lifetimes and that's why we are presently existing in the material world, the spiritually unrevolved condition, struggling with life. And the way to overcome this, the way to grow is by learning to see through the tricks of the mind. Rather, rather than letting ourselves get tricked, we persevere diligently. And thus, ultimately, if we connect with Krishna and connect with Krishna right now with the best of our capacity, then we will move forward in our life, growing positively, proactively, and purely toward improvement, upliftment, and the supreme enjoyment. Thank you. Hare Krishna.